Hello, welcome, welcome back. If you're a current subscriber, welcome if you're new. So I have my Teddy Bees haul. The RTS is upon us, so I thought I'd better get this up as soon as I can. Busy week, uh, my daughter's birthday and such, so it's been kind of a crazy week. So I will see if I get this up, hopefully, before I get my RTS. If not, I'll just combine the two together. Let's get into the tubs I got. Some of these are gonna be new, some will be repeats. Gonna just pull my cart over in case I need that. So, milk and cookies. So this one I've had before. This is creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, butter cookie. It is the best, one of the best bakeries that I have. Oh, I love, I love this. I love blended with her zucchini. I, I just thoroughly enjoy this scent. If you don't have one of this scent and you love bakery, I highly suggest that one. All right, and then I have Campfire Stories. This is one that Natalie loves and encouraged me to get, so I wanted to try this. This is Ooey Gooey S'mores, Cold Night Winds, and Sweet Vanilla Woods. I'm not gonna go over pour dates. It's obviously been poured recently. This is phenomenal. So I did order, I went and checked my order. I'm missing a loaf in this. I did order a loaf in a tub. The reason for that being because what if I got it and then I thought, okay, I like it, but I don't love it. Then I would gift that loaf. So I did reach out to Tiffany. Uh, she did respond. So no worries with that. Um, so this, you really do get the s'mores in this. And you do get some woodsy. This is, I have a lot of smoky blends. You know I love my crackling birch fluff puffs. That's very smoky to me. Um, Rose Girls has, is it, it's a campfire. I don't remember what it's called. Scentsy has around the campfire. This has got to be one that actually reminds me more of like a marshmallow. You're near a fire, but it's a, it's a creamy one. And I think it's because the s'mores. This is, this might be a favorite of mine. Like of all my, like, okay, let me rephrase. If you like smoky, but you don't love heavy smoky, I would suggest Campfire Stories. No, I have never worn this, but Natalie raves, and Natalie was also the one who raved about hot pie. She absolutely loves it. It's a staple piece for her. I will tell you if I've had something so you know that if I'm repurchase, repurchasing these, clearly they perform and I love them. One of which is Weekend with Papa. Last time she offered this last year, I got this in a souffle. And I quickly learned that A, I loved it, and B, I needed to repurchase it. Salty Sierra, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallows, which is Sadie, blended with roasted pine cones. So if you like her Sadie, this has obviously the, um, the roasted pine cones in it. I think, I, I know that I've had Sadie and I love that as well. This just adds, I would say to me though, I like doing this in the fall. So I'm okay with, you know, her offering it now because I'm honestly just going to let this cure until fall. So I have worn that. What I will say too is um, the ones like milk and cookie, obviously I do in my open concept. Uh, weekend with Papa, I do that in bedroom, bathroom, or the studio space. Okay, so let's see if I have any other ones that I've already had. Okay, yes, this one here. Okay, these two. Oh, this one too. Okay, oh, I should have ordered this in a loaf or two. Peanut butter and jelly, toasted bread, fresh jam, and a drizzle of honey. What separates this scent above others is the honey in this. This is phenomenal. Now, I want to give you a comparison. I have purchased from Salt Mountain Melts. She has the same oil, the exact same. Dexter Pores oil, if you've had his PB&J, it's the same. Dexter Pour is no longer in business. I asked Salt Mountain Melts, I asked if she would do this in her last RTS, she didn't. Um, so maybe the next time she does, we can all maybe ask her if you weren't able to snag this. I, I have a half a loaf left in that, and now I have this. This is just a great, oh, the honey, you almost, it's more like wheat toast, with jam and honey. That's what I get from this, okay? It is completely different than any other vendor's toast and jam, okay? I'm just gonna say that so you know. It has honey in it. If you don't like honey, you would not like that. It 
it is one of my favorite blends. I sh not working, like this order by any means is not small, but not working right now. Like I would have loved that in a loaf, but that is my life right now, which is okay. Another repurchase is Blackberry Butter Pecan Cookies, which is Butter Pecan Cookies, Blackberry Jam Cookies. Now, again, I will say I've smelt some really, really good vendors that have this. I think hers, I don't know why I like hers, but there are other vendors. Again, L3 has one of these that's really good. So this is great. It's a little bit more nutty to me. But again, I just want to say that as an option. Like this is my channel and I was thinking to myself when I was, there's a few of these I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you I have comparisons for. Um, the PB&J I've already told you. I think other vendors have this scent oil as well. And I have a few others that I'm gonna compare. And I was thinking about that like, why I know a lot of people will say, well, they don't like they don't like to talk about other vendors on their like in a video. But here's the thing. This is my channel. Like nobody's paying me. These vendors probably don't even know who I am. And I'm thinking if you missed this RTS and or pre order and then you're like have FOMO because we all know what FOMO is. And if you don't, it's the fear of missing out. And so if you miss something, I want to be able to offer you something that I feel is pretty similar. So maybe you can get that instead. And next time it's a, it's around, you can get it in the pre-order. Surfside Sweet Shop. Again, I have a loaf in this. I love this scent. Birthday cake, marshmallow cream, butter cookies, cake batter, and beach night, or beach treats, which is her beach nights. She has my other favorite uh, beach nights blend. Sassy Girl is still a favorite of mine. But I think that Tiffany uh, from Teddy B's does more with bakery and beach nights, which I'm here for. This one, again, on cold, you would think it wouldn't be like, okay, I don't understand the hype behind this. You just need to warm this. This usually goes for two to three days in my bedroom bathroom. I didn't order Khaleesi from this order. But I already have a tub of Khaleesi, and I had that in my upstairs here, and it, for three days it was so strong, so good. Okay, the, all the rest are new to me, so we're going to get into that after I show you my sample of Cozy Cookie Cake. I warmed this this weekend for two days. You think, again, this on cold is deceiving. You need to warm this scent. Just start with a small piece in a smaller area, and... It's cookie, it's beach nights, I believe. It's, I think it's just sugar cookie, but I smell like a crunchy cookie with beach nights. This is exceptional. I literally finished a tub I had this weekend and I was so sad because now I only have a tub left. People don't warm that and they, again, I was the same way. I thought on cold, but I've learned my lesson with I Heart Spiced Apples because that was one that I didn't warm and then uh, um, Carson, and Alexis said it was so good. So then I warmed it and then Natalie warmed it because we hadn't warmed it. And then we were all like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And Cozy Cookie Cake is a sleeper. So if you like bakery, I really encourage you to warm that one. If you have an, an, an on cold, you're like, I think you're crazy. Well, I might be crazy, but I still encourage you to try it at least because you can always cut out a small piece. And if you truly don't love it, just de-stash it because I'm always looking for my favorites. So anyway, this is a new one, Mrs. Teddy Bear. Now I'm gonna tell you a comparison of this, okay? A blend of Teddy Bear biscuits, cherry pie filling, and whipped cream. Now I heard really good things about this and I'm not the biggest cherry lover because sometimes cherry can be chapstick to me and then I will, I cannot do it. This is so good. So. If you've ever smelled Scentsy's Cherry Apple Strudel, I immediately smelled this and that is exactly what it, it triggered in my brain. So let me know your thoughts if you agree with that or maybe you just, again, think I'm way out there on that. Um, but if you like a lovely pastry note with a great cherry filling, this does not disappoint and it has whipped cream and I get almost a little buttercream esque, maybe not a whipped. This is really good. I'm glad I have a tub in that. Okay. All right. And then we're going to do cozy or cookies and cashmere. And I, when I was opening this, um, it's 
it broke. So that is my fault. And I do have bags. That's another reason I have bags is because you just never know if you're going to drop something and break a lid. So anyway, cookies and cashmere is sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. A lot of people were hyping about this one. Oh, and it broke more. God darn it. Shoot. So what I'm going to say to you about this one is I get that cashmere cream with the bakery. I don't get a lot of vanilla birch. Let me know if you've worn this because I want to know. I know there's a lot of hype on this and I've never warmed it. So I cannot give you any feedback. But I know that people go crazy over this. And to me, it's... But you know, I love bakery. This leans more like cozy. It's almost like a body care-esque. And then you get the bakery on the back end of it. So I, I'm wondering if this one comes more alive and warm. That's what I'm... That's what I'm gonna think with you guys is that that's where that one really comes alive. Okay, I dropped some wax. I don't wanna do that, like that's good wax. All right, okay. Then let's do fuzzy socks. Now, I don't know if you know this, but this wasn't on the official list. I started people seeing people post because I'm a slacker. And I don't do my pre-order right away. I kind of ponder and go back and cross things off. And just, I'm, it's really hard for me. That's why I get my order last all the time because I'm like the worst. So I usually do it after 24 hours. So she had posted this in loaves and people were like, wait, where, where's this fuzzy socks coming from? So she had it in loaves. So she had asked, people were asking, can you put it in souffles or in souffles and tubs? And so she did. So this is Warm Woods Cashmere Socks Marshmallow Fireside. So she ended up adding this, and I will say, I get a lot of the fireside, I like that. This is very unique. You definitely get cashmere in this, and then you get some smokiness. I think this is, and, and you do get the woods note. I think this is one that's gonna really develop on warm as well. I'm excited to have that. It was just luck of the draw, and I only go in one time. I refuse to go in twice. It's a pre-order, if I, if I've been sitting there looking at that list for a week or whatever she posted, I should not need to go back in. So my philosophy is I will not go back in. That's just me, okay? All right, so. Okay, those two I have comparisons for. Okay, so sweet and smoky. I got this in a loaf in a tub. And this one is sugar cookies, cinnamon spiced vanilla, sensual Central vanilla with a background of warm smoke woods. This is very interesting. It this is really good. The cinnamon spice vanilla. You get like a sensual note in here, like a creamy vanilla, but it is again what it says. And you get the bakery. I don't get a lot of smoke woods, which I'm okay with. I feel like there is some woody note there. I think, I mean, I can smell it, but it's not overpowering. I wonder how it will transform on warm. This is delightful. I I try to, when I do her, you know, she has her traditionals that we request, and then she'll do like her um, new scents. I try to do only a souffle if I'm unsure, but if I feel like it might be one that's more of my vibe, I get a tub in it. And then, let's see. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited about that one, too. Oh, these are all so exciting. I told you. I already sniffed these, okay? I'm going to be honest. Ice, woods, and sweet birch. I'm so happy with these tubs I got. This is icy vanilla woods, boardwalk marshmallow clouds, marshmallow fireside blended with birch. This is why I got, again, this is a new scent. But I was like, I love, if you know me, I love birch tree scents. This just, oh, it's so good. You do get the boardwalk marshmallow clouds, but the birch wood in this is so good. You get a cool night. It's almost like, again, you're walking through the woods. It's not like you don't get Christmassy vibes, but you get a cool evening walking through the woods by birch trees. Oh my gosh. This is a winner. Did you get this? Are you going to go back and get this? Oh my gosh. This is so good. Love that one. All right, then I got toasted marshmallow sugar cookies, sweet sugar, buttery shortbread, buttercream frosting, vanilla, sugar cookie dough, and toasty marshmallows. 
sometimes she has a theme of like certain scents. Swear last RTS was a ton of, was it balsam? I think she did a lot of balsam blends. I feel like this is like bakery and marshmallow heavy. <laughs> this is so good. A lot of scents you don't get marshmallow. I really feel like I get a toasted marshmallow scent in this. But like, not like you burn your marshmallow, but it's done. It's nice and golden. I get the buttercream frosting. And I get more of the shortbread than like the cookie. This is so good. This is another winner. I, you know, I love bakery. So it was a no brainer to try some of those new scents in tubs for me because I just adore, um, I adore that. Okay. I'm sorry. This is Miss Malo's Cookies. I don't think this one is new. One of these was new. One isn't. I can't remember. Maybe this is the new one and toasted marshmallow sugar cookies wasn't. Maybe this is the new one. I'm forgetting now. This is marshmallow bomb sugar cookies and beach treats. So pretty too. Oh my gosh. You get a lot of marshmallow in this with the beach nights and the cookies. The third thing I smell. This is so good. Oh my gosh. And I really don't care how something is like if you feel like it's light on cold. I let mine cure for at least a month from the pour date. And if I'm worried about it, I'll take a small amount of it. And oh, this seems good on cold though. I take a small amount of it and warm it in my bedroom. And then depending on how it performs, then I will go to a different space if need be. That is fabulous. Again, winner. Okay, I've got a few more tubs. I'm gonna put this box down. It's gonna, it's like hurting my arms. I don't need that. Okay. So next up we have Beach Balsam. Okay, this is Vanilla Balsam Ocean Driftwood, driftwood with a bunch, or with a touch of sea salt. I wish it had a bunch of sea salt. It says a touch of sea salt. Oh, this is so good. If you like aquatic, you get woody note of that driftwood and then the sea salt. This is so good. And vanilla balsam, I don't get a lot of that, but you definitely get a tree note in this. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is excellent, so unique. I don't have anything like this in my collection. This is great. I mean, the fact that you get these, you get a little bit of that um, ocean driftwood, then you get the sea, the sea salt and then you also get the balsam in this it's just yummy okay all right next up i have pink zucchini cake pops look at how cute that label her labels and then her wax is always so pretty her wax is very soft too okay so this one is zucchini bread vanilla cake pops strawberry cake pink sugar frosting this is an excellent zucchini blend i do have a little bit of a comparison for you just in case you know the other vendor i will say this is more of this cake pop vanilla cake pop note then you get the strawberry and like sugar frosting and zucchini bread is not as overpowering as you would think which i am thankful for because some blends you put in zucchini and it takes over the whole blend so now I'm going to talk about another scent. This is Birdie's Making Scents Hannah's Baby, which is strawberry white cake zucchini bread. So this one is very heavy zucchini with strawberry. Yeah. This is, but gosh, they're, so yeah, this one you get more of a cake pop um, scent in. And then this one you get like more of the zucchini. Both are great. But again, I just wanted in case you didn't get something and you have this, I do think you may have something already similar to that. So that was just something when I was smelling the pink zucchini cake pops, I'm like, it reminds me of something. Because I was like, do I need more of this? And I'm like, but why? Because I already have something that literally smells like that. Okay. Now, next up, I want to compare this because I can't, I don't think it's similar, but it's reminding me of something. Pacific Northwest Winter. So this is fresh snow, pine sap, fresh mistletoe, vanilla balsam, a hint of cranberries, 
and a burning fireplace off in the distance. This is like an awesome Christmas scent to me. This literally makes me think of us cutting our, down our Christmas tree and they have a fire in the shed where we can warm up and have cookies. Gosh, this is great. I will not be warming this until more Christmas time. This is fabulous. I know originally I think she offered this. So we did the pre-order in the fall and then she did an RTS and I think this was a new one and it sold out super fast so I missed it. And a lot of us were saying, can you please pour this in the pre-order? So then I added this. But the one I want to smell is Sassy Girl Aromas. No, Christmas at Santa is more pepperberry wreath. I wonder if it reminds me of Scentsy's Season of Magic. It's the Disney one because this does remind me of something. This is so good. Literally such a great Christmas blend. I love, love that one. Okay, so then the last of these ones, the tubs that are new to me is, is it Petrichor? This is, oh my gosh, I need my readers for this. Seriously, this one's really small. Okay, this is the scent of wet earth after the rain. Okay, I'm sorry, but look at how darn small that print is. Someday y'all are gonna be in your 40s too. So I've had Lasix and literally like six months ago, or maybe it's, no, it's been a year now. Literally all of a sudden I had to like hold my phone away from me and I was like, why? I've never had to do that. I'm not having any more. I just put on my readers when I need to and I'm good with that. I have like, those are my nice readers that I got from the eye doctor, but I also have like five other pair because she told me I need like a one or something. So it's not that I need to have an expensive pair, but I do have two nice pair to wear around the house. And then I have to have readers everywhere just in case, you never know. Okay, I have to tell you, I have smelled this before. I don't like this. <laughs> the, my initial reaction was pretty rough. So, oh. Oh, <laughs> Okay, um, literally, <laughs> this is literally like you are, you fell by accident in, in my, like if I'm gardening and I'm moving dirt or by my chickens shoveling poop, you fall in this very wet mud <laughs> and nobody wants their face in that. This is what it smells like to me. It is so strong and it, I love dirt let me just tell you if you've watched my channel I am all about grass and dirt scents but this is mm, like this is so strong to me like literally just getting that smell of it just it really is hard for my stomach let me know if you have this what your thoughts are because Alexis was dying um because I, I called her or and I was like she was raving about this and I'm like, I don't know. And then when I got it and smelled it, I was like, oh, I'm sorry. It's just really tough. And that's, I'm not saying, that's not anyone's issue. I love dirt smells in general. So when she offered this, I was like, I'm absolutely going to try this. Now, this is straight up compost, wet dirt. You fell in it or you're gardening and you literally fell with because the sprinkler was on and you slipped in the mud and now your face is literally in the mud and maybe you have some in your mouth and your nose because you just can't escape it that's what this is so let me know if you like this and i love dirt smells like i am i love them oh my gosh that is so strong that one just makes me laugh oh my gosh okay <laughs> here's the sample in this box it's cozy cashmere linen and nectarine this is good if you like nectarine and I think you would love this. I'm actually gonna warm this and put it in my bathroom and just see what I think. This is very good though, but it's not like a favorite favorite of mine, but it's good. Okay, let's go over loaves first. Peach cobbler sugar cookies. I've had this before. She's got two peach cobbler scents and I, I know this is one. And then I thought, I think she has a different one. This is frosted circus cookies blended with decadent peach cobbler. This is so good. If you like peach, I've had this before. I've worn this. Obviously, that's why I bought it in a loaf. Love it. The other one is Natalie's favorite hot pie. So I feel like Natalie is known with Teddy Bees for 
cat pie. Alexis is, <laughs> she's going to hate me for saying this. I heart, I heart vanilla spiced apples. I don't know which like scent from, people correlate me with her Rose Girl Circus Concession. Um, I don't know if there's a Teddy B scent. Like we were just kind of laughing on our live about scents that people, we, you know, remind them of and are, you know, or, you know what I'm saying? I'm fumbling my words. I'm sorry. Scents that we love that we talk about all the time. And Hot Pie is fabulous. Palo Santo, sugar, donuts, hint of chai, and a dash of pink chiffon. You got to try this in some form or another. It's just, it's just that good. You would never think that that would go together. But listen, it is good. So let's get into the ones I've had before. Honestly, a lot of these are new to me because, again, I told you generally I will order the souffles and scents that I've never had because it's less risk. I have had sundresses and lemonade before. I had this, I think my first haul from Teddy Bees had this in it. And this is a fizzy laundry. It's very good. When I initially got it, I wasn't as in love with laundry, but I've told you I've started to like more laundry and floral. So you're going to see some laundry in here. Um, she didn't do a lot of florals, I don't think, in this order, this pre-order, but I really enjoy this. If you love laundry, this is a popular, popular scent from her. Nude Beach I've had before. This is Cream de Boom Boom Cashmere Cream and Beach Nights. So good. This is, to me, I get more of the Boom Boom and then the other two kind of are in the, that background, and it, but it's just done so well. Oh, if you love these scents, I highly recommend this. This is like, you put this on in the evening when you want to relax. Like this is just a great spring, summer cooling scent. Okay, any of these? Okay, wait. Okay, all the rest are new? Okay. All right. Let's do the two blueberry scents. This one was new this time. Milk cookies and blueberry cobbler. She, you know I love her milk and cookies. And this is really good. I don't generally like blueberry scents, but I've been trying a few more scents because I, I find as my scent preferences have changed, depending on the blueberry, this is more blueberry than milk and cookies, but I think this is gonna warm beautifully. And because it was new and I'm not the biggest blueberry, I thought the risk of getting a souffle was worth it. So that is milk and cookies, blueberry cobbler. That is very good. And then the other one I got was I Heart Vanilla Blueberry because we all know that I learned my lesson with I Heart Vanilla scents. And I do think it's the I Heart Vanilla that I like because smelling this, I now pick up on that because I know what it smells like after I warmed I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples. If you like I Heart Vanilla, I think this, like this is great too. I'm gonna look for even more of her I Heart Vanilla this is so good and yeah i just think if you like some of the scents that i do and i know that my preferences have changed i would try something like this if you you know if you want to try something and this is to me i smell more of the i heart vanilla than the blueberry in this one and i really am happy that i have found that i like that i heart vanilla i will tell you two years ago i did not like that it, I was watching some of my old hauls to see like what scents I used to have and I don't like now or I do like now. And I didn't like our I Heart Vanilla. I de-stashed that. Because if you watch my video, I, di I did do my playlist now. So I do have a list. If you go into my playlist, you can see all my Teddy B videos. I actually updated that this weekend. So that is one that I worked on. And so, yeah. Okay. I just want to organize these by... Because... Some of these lean more laundry body care-esque to me. So the other bakery that I got, and I should have got this in a tub because I just love bakery. This is oh so sweet. It's flaky croissants filled with almond cream, cinnamon sugar churros, and vanilla ice cream. I don't generally like her churro churro one, so I wasn't really sure. And then sometimes the almond can come across wrong, but dang, this is good. What I will say about this one, you do smell the croissants, you do get almond, the cinnamon in this is a heavy cinnamon sugar. This is, So take your churro and dump a lot of cinnamon sugar on it. 
It is not spicy red hot cinnamon, but there it's cinnamon heavy. If you do not, milk and cookies I think has cinnamon in it, cinnamon in it, but let me look. But it's not, it's a slight bit of cinnamon where this is, you threw it in the cinnamon. Nope, I'm sorry, milk and cookies does not. Okay. Um, Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my stuff. Oh no! Don't drop, please. I don't want. I don't want any broken tubs over here. Uh, but what I will say, if you don't lean heavy on cinnamon, I know Natalie is really leery on cinnamon. Please don't grab this if you don't like cinnamon, because this one you will not be pleased with. I love this. This is done very well. But that's a heavy, heavier bakery scent. I will give. I will say that. That's heavier than if you think about milk and cookies. Okay, now next up is St. Valentine. Pink sugar, Earl Grey tea, balsam fur, and sweet vanilla cream. Those aren't scent notes that I would think you would stick together, so this will be interesting. Okay, this to me is a fancy body care. I, I don't know why I get that. I have another blend of hers. It's London Fog with the Earl Grey tea. If she offers that, get that. If you like Earl Grey tea, her London Fog, oh, it's so good. It's so unique. I don't, I've had it in pre-orders. I've asked for it. I'm almost out of mine. Yeah, this reminds me a little, because it's got that Earl Grey tea. And then you get the pink sugar, but it's not, I don't like pink sugar. But this is more the Earl Grey tea with some creamy vanilla. And the pink sugar, thankfully, she didn't add too much. I know some of you all love pink sugar. I do not. So let me just put out there, I didn't order any of those pink sugar bakery because I have found I dislike it highly. And like her, this pre-order had sweetheart cookies. I didn't get that. I can't do it. Okay. Now we'll do another one that's almost body care. Well, this one is more body care. Like a, it almost gives me like body care with laundry. So it's Evangeline, mossy oak trees, wild poppies, citrus, sandalwood, southern breezes, and warm amber. Again, I was trying to do some more spring scents. I like this, but I think this souffle will be plenty for me, but gosh, this is going to be great in my downstairs and in my laundry room and having the windows open. Uh, we got snow this week and it's going to be chilly this week. And last week it was 80s and 90s. This I could see putting in, this is like I've had a scent like this from another vendor before, but they don't make it anymore, I don't think. This is really good. If you, this is a beautiful laundry. Again, it's more perfumey laundry or feminine laundry, but to my nose, to me, that's what I smell. It is beautiful, beautiful. Love that one. And yes, I do think my scent preferences are crazy lately. Like I'm buying some of these scents and I'm like, these aren't normally things I buy. Wax snob. Okay, honestly, I'm going to be truthful with you because I am always, I ordered this for the name <laughs> because I was like, okay, I love the name first of, all, first of all, and I try not to let that sway me, but then I read the scent notes and I was like, okay, I could get behind that because I liked them. Um, pink pepper, sandalwood, sweet citrus, pear, hint of peach, sensual vanilla. So I really do like peach. I like, um, I don't like citrus, but the sandalwood, I've never smelled pink pepper, I don't think. Oh, yeah, I have. I have pink pepper, right? Or, yeah, I think that's what it is. Don't, no, it's pink salt I have. I don't know. This is, this leans more body care to me. It does. It's good, though. Um, would I want more? No. I definitely get the sandalwood, the citrus, the pear, a hint of the peach, and it is, like, it's more feminine to me. It's a very pretty scent if you like those. I know it. I, Please don't take it the wrong way if I say feminine or masculine because it's just how I perceive it. Everybody's different. And Etta was I was watching one of her videos in her empties. And you know, I don't like Scentsy's Mother's Day collection, the one that's more masculine. And if you saw my haul, I literally hated it and was so mad they put that in the Mother's Day. And then here she is. And I felt so bad. Like, I would never want to make anybody feel like it... Like, my preferences are above yours because they're not. And it, it just humbled me to be like, look it, Anna likes this. And this she liked it better than I than I like the blue coconut, whatever that blue coconut one is, because I've ordered like four bars of that. And here I'm, she didn't like the one I loved. And 
And I did not like the one that she loves. So just keep that in the back of your mind that we all perceive things so differently that she would prefer that in her house and I would not. So I just want to put that out there. Okay, sweet summer snuggles. Again, I, I wanted a few laundry because my husband really does love these scents and so do my kids. And this is Cotton Candy Clouds, Snuggle Snuggles Type, and Salty Sierra. Or, sorry, so, oh, Salty Sierra. Yeah, that's that. This is really good. I get Cotton Candy, then I get Snuggles, and then I get the Salty Sierra, which is exactly how it's listed. Go figure. This is really good. I really like this. I know. Oh, I, it's got to look at the color too. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? So good. Okay. This video is like super long. I'm so sorry, but I don't, depending on like, this is pretty long. And then when I edit it, I might do two separate or I might combine them because by the time I do order, if I order in the RTS, which I think I'm going to grab a few and get it, it might just I'm, it might be right around the time I'm posting this. So we'll see if I put them together or separate just based on, this is already 38 minutes. Okay, new to me is Strawberry and Cedar. I love her labels compared to a couple years ago. I love that she's adding these colors to some of these because if you didn't notice, she doesn't always do color in these labels, but there is color, it's different font. I, I, I love her aesthetic. Okay, this is Strawberry and Cedar. Crispy, crisp. Crisp strawberry, hints of musk, smoked vanilla, and cashmere cedar. If I can read, I like this, but I don't love this. I will honestly enjoy this. I will thoroughly enjoy this. This the cedar in this is not something I would usually do, but I like the strawberry and the musk. And because I had gotten a strawberry musk scent from Lavender and Speckles, and I really liked it. Um, and that was a suggestion from Alexis. So again, sometimes it's nice to try different scents. So when I thought about the strawberry musk or the musk in this, I thought, okay, I'm gonna try this one because this was a new one. And I love woody notes. The cedar is not exactly like my woodsy note. But it's good. I, it is really good. I think this is, it's, Teddy Bees does some really unique blends. And so it's nice to have a nice souffle in that because I can get like four, I can get about four different warms from a souffle in my bedroom bathroom. Okay. And a lot of some of these souffle scents, if I'm unsure about them or if I'm going to get them for a bedroom bathroom, I go with a souffle versus anything else because by the time it takes me to go through one of these in a year, hopefully she'll report it. Sometimes not. Honeybee, last but not least, you know I love honey scents. And I believe that is it, yes. So I absolutely love honey scents. A lot of vendors do not do honey, which is really disappointing. So this one is Sweet Sugar Cookies, Honey Nectar, Sweet Vanilla, and Beach Treats. So I just thought, I'm gonna try this because again, I love honey and a lot of people don't do this. What I'm gonna tell you from this right now is I do get the, um, the cookies and the honey from this is the same honey that I get in her PB&J. So if you like her PB&J blend and you like that honey note in this, you will like this. Then you, but the cookies with this and then the slight bit of uh, beach treats, this is excellent. Excellent. I love honey scents so much. I'm so thankful that she went out on a limb with that one and decided to do it because there are a lot of us, some like masculine, but some of us do like honey and peanut butter scents with honey in them. So this was a great pre-order. Honestly, I'm, I almost every time I do a pre-order, I'm like, this was the best ever. And then I do another one and then I'm like, no, this was the best. And then, you know, you just play that game. I know there wasn't a lot of chatting and blah, blah, maybe I did chat too much, but sometimes I try to talk to you a little bit more, but there was just a lot to go through. So let me know what you got in this pre-order. And then if I don't get this posted by the RTS, let me know if you grabbed any of these, if you went back into the RTS or you were able to be strong enough and have enough willpower not to go back into the RTS because some of us don't have that. So anyway, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Bye.